but information is all about giving you guys information that can change your situation inside of your business. We are 100% fully network marketing driven on these calls. I want to give you the information that you need to build a bigger business, that you need to become more successful, to have more money in your life for your family, for yourself, for your experiences. Because as you guys know, and we talked about that in the last um, in the last session, the money talks, a money talk session last time, that money is a, a very very important thing in life, right? Can we can we all say? And, and be honest today on a Zoom call and just type a big yes into the chat if money really matters, if, if you really think that money matters, right? That money can change, that money can help you, that money can um, just be, be a good thing in your life, you know? And also help your family, help your friends, help you to experience more things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we are all on one page, right? That's very important. I know that out there, a lot of people, a lot of humans don't talk about money. They don't talk about money. They don't want to talk about money. They feel money is, is not a topic to talk about. Um, they, they are scared to talk about it because they are uneducated on it. And that's why you're on the call. Before we start, guys, very, very important. As you guys know, open cameras, please. We are on a team call. And on a team call, it's strictly, strictly mandatory to put the cams on. I know some of you guys are working right now, or you guys are maybe with your, with your kid, with your baby, whatever. Um, then you're definitely you definitely don't have to open the, the camera please don't feel forced but for everyone else that is sitting there and things like oh i should but i i can't i'm kind of comfortable i don't want to open the camera i'm lying on the sofa i'm i don't have makeup on i don't have my 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 suit on or whatever guys get your cameras on we're on a zoom call okay that's very very important guys it's business time get your camera on nice so i see a lot of people on the zoom call internationally um, and I'm very grateful for that. Today, we'll talk about a very important topic. Um, some of you guys already may heard it. Some of you guys, uh, I talked about it a bit on the last uh, call with the Portuguese team. I think it was yesterday um, about, about launching, about the master plans and stuff like that. But I feel I want to go deeper into the topic, how to really launch a business. Because you guys have to understand, and when we talk about launching a business, that's the first and most important step when someone joins the team, right? There are so many different methods and so many different nuggets and so many different coaches and so many different books and so many freaking information on how you should build your business in network marketing, right? And sometimes we get overwhelmed. Is there anyone that really sincerely feels sometimes overwhelmed with all the information, with the different videos, with the trainings, with all these coaches, with all these, these, these different books? And I, I, felt, I felt overwhelmed many times in my network marketing business when I got started, right? Some of my mentors told me, do it like this. The other mentor said, do it like this. Then this book, GoPro, uh, ta taught me a different way. Then I watched a video on YouTube of a networker that said, do it like this. And I was like, bro, what should I do now? Like everyone tells me a different system. Very important, very, very important, first and foremost, is that you guys keep one system, right? There's, there's a sentence that's very important in this business. And it's like, it's like also very important in trading that's don't change a running system, right? Don't change a running system. It's not that a system has to be perfect, right? No system is perfect. There is no golden key card. There is no golden sentence. There is no whatever, right? It's, it's, it's just a system. And a system has one thing in common. Can someone tell me what a system has in common? A very good system has in common. All these good systems out there have, have in common, right? There are so different companies, different uh, movements and a lot of them are very successful, right? And they all do it differently. But what all these systems duplicatable, right? 100%, Julia, that's correct. They are all duplicatable. So they have to be duplicatable. They have to be easy. They have to be easy to understand. And I want to give you a launch system, a system, right? That teaches you and that you can duplicate, that you can give other people information to on how to start a business, right? So sometimes or many times is what I see, and that's totally wrong, is I see people coming in right? You sign someone up. And then what you do is you send them the group, right? So now the person joins the group and that's it. What happens now? Right? They don't know what to do. That, well, I see that often and that's totally wrong, right? Because we have an onboarding system. So the onboarding system is always number one. Put the people on the onboarding system. Step number one, always, always, always. It doesn't matter which country, doesn't matter which language. We have for, for everyone, we have an onboarding system, right? For the Portuguese people, it's coming up. We have an English onboarding system. We have a Latvian onboarding system. We have a German onboarding system, right? We have German community groups, Portuguese community groups, Australian community groups, global. We have all that, right? The system is always the same. It's always one community group. It's always the onboarding. It's always a TPR newsbot, right? 
in the TPI news board, you get the most important information, Zoom calls, promotions, whatever, right? In the community group, it's all about community, right? Community, exchange, information, all that kind of stuff. And the onboarding process is what you do, right? After getting started, where you get the basic information. Now, when you did the onboarding process, the question now is what do we do next? Can someone tell me what do we do next when someone watched the onboarding process and finished it and they come back to you? Let's say you signed someone up and the person comes back to you and tells you, hey, I did it, I'm done. I did the onboarding process. What happens now? What is the very next step after that directly? Okay, now I'm curious. Now I'm curious. What is the next step? It's a game plan, game plan, right? The why is cool, that's, that's, that's also true, Gonzalo, uh, true. Yeah, that's the first step in the game plan, but the game plan is the next step, right? So you send them the onboarding, after the onboarding, number one step is game plan. Can everyone put game plan into the chat that we are all on one page? Everyone, please type game, game plan into the chat that we are all on one page. I want, I, want, I want us to be on one page today, that everyone, after this call understands what we need to do when it comes to the onboarding. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and we will game plan a bit together, right? We will do a launch game plan. So the game plan, basically, I talked about that in the Portuguese call. I talked about that with a lot of you guys. I talked about that in the last, uh, in the last sessions I did uh, with you guys on the global call. So we don't have to talk about the game plan anymore, right? It's enough game plans. We talked so much about the game plan, but I wanna go deeper into the aspect of launching someone. Can, uh, Cindy, can you just send me or shoot me a message on, on, on uh, WhatsApp and tell me if you guys can see my iPad screen since I don't see the chat anymore? That would be very nice. Yes, okay, thank you so much. Okay, perfect. So today we have to talk about how to launch a business. So what I always tell you guys, and you already heard that it's kind of cliche, but you guys know that the largest products, the biggest companies out there, they don't start a product, they launch a product, right? They don't start it. PlayStation 5 was not started, was launched. The new iPhone was not started, was launched. They do launch presentations, right? Uh, uh, Tesla, Elon Musk does presentations. They invite the whole media and they do a presentation. They show the car, right? They, they, they let people touch it. They let people drive it. They give them testimonials, right? They launch a business. So on how to launch a business, and that's one system all of you guys have to do. And I know the system is not the easiest. I know that the system here is maybe a bit old school. Right. And some people are like, oh, that's so old school. I don't want to do a list. I don't want to tell my people to do a list. I don't want to do, I don't, I don't want to tell them to prospect other people. But guys, that's the business, right? If you work as, I don't know, if you work as a cab driver, if you work as a taxi driver, right? Taxi or cab driver, what, what your job is to drive the taxi, right? There's no opportunity to not drive it, right? You get, you get paid to drive the cab. And in network marketing, you guys get paid to launch people. Is everyone understands that that's very important, right? You can't go like there's no other way, right? You have to launch people. So step number one, when we talk about the launch, very, very important is to understand the numbers, right? And you, we are talking about an, an example right now where we say we have someone new coming into, into your team. So imagine everyone in here, imagine someone just joined your team. They completed the onboarding, right? Check onboarding completed. Now you do a game plan and in the game plan, you ask about the why, right? Everything we, we talked about, you ask about the why, okay? You tell them, you ask them what their financial goal is and all that kind of stuff. And when you have that, then we talk about the launch call. So number one, when it comes to the launch, most important thing is that you educate, that you educate the person on the difference of what is, or how, how to start a business or to launch a business. Right? You have to tell them the difference because starting a business, right? Starting a business is onboarding and that's it, right? Most of your people, you just onboard them and that's it. You send them the link, they sign up, you put them in the community group and then that's it. You never talk to them anymore, right? They don't message you anymore. They did the onboarding and no idea what is happening, right? That's what most people do and that's very, very wrong. So in network marketing, many think, many of you guys think that the most difficult thing is to sign someone up, 
right? Signing someone up is what we all focus on. We focus on signing people on elite all the time, sign them up, sign them up, sign them up. But it's like being pregnant, right? I don't know how it is to be pregnant, okay? <laughs> but we have a lot of moms in our team and they tell me how it is. Uh, and I have a lot of respect for that, 100%. But network marketing is like being pregnant, right? The work starts when the baby comes, right? It's not being pregnant, it's very hard, I know that, okay? But it's not being pregnant. It's when the baby comes, the work starts, right? You can't, you can't get a baby and just let him do whatever he wants, right? He, he will not learn how to eat himself. He, he will not learn how to read. He will not learn how to dress. He will not learn how to go to the toilet, right? You have to do that. So the work starts when the baby comes. And that's the same with network marketing. The work starts when someone signed up. Not the sign up is the work. Most of you are like, oh, sign up, easy, done. Send them the link and let them do whatever he wants, right? Go, go outside, do whatever you want, bro, after signing the person up. No, it's launching the person, right? When, when the sign up is done, the work begins, okay? So next step is when someone started is to do the launch, right? Next step when it comes to the launch is explaining the person, okay, what is a launch? As we just said, what is the difference in between a launch and a start? And if you tell someone what the difference between a launch and a start is, they will understand and they will want to launch the business. So when it comes to a launch, as I just showed you and I just explained you, do, do the same explanation that I did. Just copy what I said, right? Give them the example. Tesla, do they start or launch a product? They launch it. iPhone, do they launch or do they start, right? So let us start, uh, let us launch your business. So now when we talk about the launch, step number one, everyone has to understand this, okay? Step number one, when we talk about, about, uh, about, uh, um, about the launch, or basically step number two then, sorry. Uh, step number two then, okay? Because step number one is the launch and explaining the difference in between starting and launching. So step number two is basically the list, right? The list or contact list or candidate list or there's so, so many different words, right? I just call it a list. It's just a list where you put 200 people on at least, okay? Why? Because someone that completed 18 years, is 18 years old, has about 200 contacts. That's just a fact, right? That, that's a fact. That's a cold, no one can say again, anything against it. That's a fact. Someone that is 18 years old knows about 200 people, right? So even if, you're, even if you are someone like I was that is always gaming, that has basically no friends, right? I was like that. I was always gaming. I had like two or three friends. You still know a lot of people, school, work, gym, sports, right? Uh, uh, people that you met in the kindergarten, teacher, uh, 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 I don't know, the, the friend of your mom, friend of your dad, right? Neighbors, um, people that you met while traveling, people that you met while, um, while doing different stuff. So in social media, internet, Instagram, Facebook, gaming, whatever, there's so many times where we connect with people, right? Every time, every time I go into an Uber, right? Or into a cab or whatever, if, I, if, if they are like cool people, right? I don't pitch everyone just because I feel I have to pitch everyone. But if I have a cool conversation with someone, I always ask them, okay? I always ask them one question. Do you know someone that is involved in crypto, right? Easy. That's how. That's how I. How, how I always keep contacting. One question. I don't tell. I don't say to someone, "Hey, are you interested in crypto?" I don't say, "Hi, hey, uh, would you be interested in crypto automation?" I don't say, "Hey, I have a business. Come look." Right. I. I ask, "Do you know someone that is involved in crypto? Do you know someone?" that would love to use a crypto automation? Do you know someone that wants to build an online business? Do you know someone that knows about NFTs? Do you know someone that is in poor needs, right? Or is like in, in, in a bad need and a poor state where they need a solution for their life? Do you know someone that, that complains about their job all the time? Do you know someone that needs an opportunity right now? Do you know someone that needs help in their life financially, right? That's a question that you can always ask and just see what the person says. And, and at the end of the day, you go out with new contacts, right? And you are not pitching them because we don't want to pitch people, right? We feel bad when we have to talk with someone that we don't know, right? I'm, I'm a very shy person, right? I, I I'm very introverted. So I would not, I don't do that. I don't walk around out there and pitch people and talk to them. I'm not that kind of person. Maybe you are, I'm not. So what I do is when I naturally have a conversation with someone and I generally like them, right? I feel like they could be a good, a good business partner, right? They could be successful in what I do, 
because sometimes we just sit there and we're like, well, they, if, they, if he would do or if she would do what I do, they would make a lot of money, right? So now how do I pitch them? That's, that's how, that's how you pitch them, right? So that's how you have a list. And I tell that. So now we have to talk about the numbers. Right? We need a list and we talk, have to talk about the numbers. Why do we need this list? And why do we need at least 200 people? It's a, it's a, it's a very easy, easy explanation. Let's say your goal okay, is to drive. Let's say my goal is to drive from downtown Dubai to Marina, Dubai. That's like 45 minutes, right? 45 minutes drive okay, from downtown Marina to Dubai Marina. So if I have a car and the car is gassed up with, I don't know, 10% left, right? I won't make it. That's logic. If I, if I, if I like, if I start the car, right. And I see the tank needle going up only to 10%. I already know. Okay. If I start now, I won't, I won't make it to Dubai Marina. So what I do is I guess up, right. Or I guess up before. So I know, okay, I want to drive there and I have to drive back. So I need enough gas. So starting network marketing and remember that guys, don't forget these words, starting network marketing, not starting launching, Launching network marketing, okay, is like having a full tank of gas and you can drive wherever you want. Do you, you, you guys know this feeling when you sit in your car, you start the car and the tank is full. It, it's like, oh, it's like a satisfying feeling, right? I love it when, when I don't know why, but we, we as humans, we love security. We love when the needle, it doesn't matter. Even if we drive to the store five minutes, we love it when the needle is full and we get crazy when the needle is down, right? I hate it when the needle is going down, right? Oh my God, now I have to, I have to, I have to find a gas station. So launching a network marketing business is like having a full tank. Starting a network marketing business is having like 10% on the tank. So if we start here, one, and we want to go to two, oh, sorry, and want to go to two, right? We need 100% full gas tank. So not having a contact list of 200 people, right? Is like starting at number one and you only will come this far right? That's it. That's, you already know that. If someone has, if you guys don't have a list of 200 people, I already know that if we start to drive together from here to Dubai Marina, I know that halfway we will break down. Halfway empty. Halfway we won't, we won't achieve. And that's the same to say, okay, you start as a distributor. Distributor, right? Our goal is our first rank, and not the first rank, the second rank, right? But it's our core rank. It's the most important rank, Platinum Executive. And if you only have a list of 50 people, I know we will not even, probably not even do influencer, right? If you have 100 people, maybe we'll do executive, right? But our goal is platinum executive. So we need 200 lists. We need a list of 200 people, right? You can, I can tell you that, guys. You won't go far with 50 people. So you have to explain that to someone that joins the business because they will have to understand in a logical way what it means to not have a list of 200 people. Don't tell people just to do it. Explain them why they should. But note that, write that down. Don't tell people what to do. Explain them why they should do it, right? Sometimes people tell us what to do and we're like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that, okay? I, I don't want to do it because you are ordering, you are telling me what to do. But if someone explains me why it makes sense to do it, then I'm going to do it. Right? Sometimes we as humans, we are like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do it just because someone is commanding us and telling us. But if someone tells me why I should do it and why it makes sense and why I will benefit from it, then I'm like, okay, it makes sense. So if you tell me, Miguel, okay, if you tell me, Miguel, that I need 200, li 200 lists, at 200 people list, so I can achieve my goal and make more money, then I'm going to do it. Why don't, why don't you say it? Right? Because if we tell people to do a list of 200 people, sometimes it's like, you know, a very salesy. It's like, do a list of 200 people. Right? And they are like, bro, why? And then you explain them, right? We need a full gas. We need a full tank, right? And we need to understand the numbers. What is the next step? So when we have the 200, the 200 people list, right? The next thing is we have to talk about is the numbers. It's a numbers game. Why? Because expectation is very important in network marketing, right? If you give people the wrong expectation, they will quit. Easy, okay? People quit this business because of one reason. The most common reason why people quit the business is because they feel that there's problems. They are faced with problems or with situations they shouldn't, they shouldn't face, right? Problems, okay? Uh, fear, right? Um, let's say, for example, they quit because they, it's hard, right? It's too hard for them, right? People don't join, okay? They don't join. People say no, right? You get a lot of no's. 
So this list here is why people quit. But if you tell them that this will be normal, then they, they don't, they don't, they, 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 will, they won't quit, right? If you tell them that this is normal, if you tell them that it is normal to talk to 10 people and one joins, they have the right expectation. Now they understand, okay, I have to talk to 10 people to get one. And they are happy if they talk to 10 and they get two. They are happier when they talk to 10 and they get three. They're even more happier, uh, like a lot of like, uh, like, like crazy happy, right? That's what I want to say, if they have four, right? But we give them the lowest expectation because like this, they are not disappointed, right? If they do this, they are not disappointed. They are like, okay, that's what my mentor told me. You guys told that to your new team member. You told them 10 people won, right? So that's what we have to tell them. We have to tell them the numbers. Then the, also the next thing we have to tell them is when you invite people. When you invite people to a Zoom call, to a presentation, to a meeting, okay, there's a very important number and that's number three. So whatever, let's say you want 20 people on the Zoom call, you have to make it X3, right? We need three X3 three more people. So we need to invite 60 people to have a 30, right? If we invite 60 people and you want to know how many people are coming divided by three and you know about 20 people are coming. If I invite 10 people, right, three, I have about three to four people that will come. The number three is a very important number in this business. So you also have to tell them this because imagine you are starting your business. You are so happy that you are launching your business. You invite your family, your friends, right? You invite 10 people. And now you go to your upline and you say, hey, bro, I invited 10 people. It will be crazy. And then what happens? Three people come. And now what they do is they're like, what the fuck? No one wants to, do you, do you know this? Like, did, did that ever happen to you that someone from your team came to you and said, no one wants to join my business? No one wants to listen to my business. They all say it's a bad business, but they did not even listen to the business, right? Most of, most of the times when someone comes to us and say, hey, no one wants to join my business, it, they, they, didn't show, like, they didn't show them the business, right? So if you didn't show someone the business and they don't want to join, even before watching the information, it's because you invited very bad, right? You invite, it's just shit. So to come back to this, always three. Now we set the right expectation, right? We, we educated our new partner that launching is important, right? Because building network marketing slow is a pain in the ass. It's just like, it, like being slow in network marketing hurts a lot, right? It, it sucks. So we're gonna launch the business. You need at least 200 people. Why? Because everyone that is 18 has at least 200 contacts, okay? So how do we can get a bigger contact list? By asking people this question. Do you know someone that is involved in crypto, right? We need to understand the numbers game, right? We need a full gas tank. We need a list of 200 people or we are not going nowhere, right? We won't hit our targets even before we start, okay? So we need that. So then I give them the right expectation. I tell them, hey, the expectation is, right? You will think of quitting because people say no, because people will hate you, will, because people will go against you, because your people gonna say uh, they will join, but then they don't join, right? You will have people, a lot of people that say no. A lot of people will say, no, I don't wanna know, that's a scam, no, that's a bullshit, no, it's a scam, blah, blah, I don't wanna join, right? So I give them the right expectation. 10 people, one joins, okay? I tell them when you invite people, number three is very, very important, right? It's a factor that we need. Three times more is what we need to have at least the number that we want, okay? And when we, when we invite 10 people, for example, 20 people, whatever, we divide by three and that's how many people will come. So that's what we have to tell them. Now, the next step is the inviting. Inviting is the most important skill in network marketing. Inviting and edifying, but we will talk about inviting first and then we go over to edifying, right? Inviting is the first and most important skill in network marketing. By inviting, you can become a six-figure earner just by inviting. If you always invite people, you make money, right? You can start this business, you guys on this call right now. If you are not able to do a presentation, a full business presentation, doesn't matter because you have uplines, mentors, people that do the presentation for you, you just have to invite. Big events, you don't have, you don't have to open your mouth, right? You don't have to say anything. You just have to get people, people there. Just get the people there. Be someone that can move people, right? So now how we can move people on presentations, on launch calls by an invite, right? Inviting always number one. And I know you guys already heard that, but it's a big difference if you know it or if you do it, right? Ask yourself the question, do you know it or do you do it? Do you know it or do you do it? 
because just knowing won't help you. You have to do it, right? So time is the first question. Second is to talk about a project, right? Project is to talk about um, a reason, right? Sometimes you can give someone a reason. Result is also a subject on how to invite. Okay, project, reason, result. Okay, compliment, for example. You can do a compliment if you feel someone it would be very good. Like there's a very good compliment that's like, if you would do what I do, you would make a lot of money, right? If you would do what I do, you would be like very, you would be very successful, right? So that's how we invite. First the time, then we say project. And then number three is ob objections, right? Objections. We get object objections in Zoom calls where people tell us, oh, that's a scam. Oh, I don't have time. I don't want to listen to that. Oh, no, I already heard about that kind of stuff. Oh, no, crypto is going to zero. People only do illegal stuff with crypto. I don't want to be involved in that. I, have, no, I don't have time, whatever, right? So when we have objections, there's a very good formula always that's first of all time, right? To say, hey, bro, I don't have that much time. Um, I just wanted to let you know, so can you make it or not, right? Get the info first. That's the second one. Get the info first. Tell them, hey, bro, you are judging right now on nothing, right? You don't have the info. So get the info. I don't have a lot of time, right? That's the project. Thursday, 8 p.m. is our presentation, right? Going to join? Yes or no, right? So objections, time, info, that's how you can, how you can uh, uh, dodge them, I would say, right? So you can do time info. And there's one very crazy formula that I love to use is felt, feel, found, right? Felt, feel, um, and found. And what is that? So felt is you just confirm what the person said, right? You confirm. Oh, bro, confirm, right? Hopefully you guys can read it more or less. I know uh, my, my handwriting is ugly as fuck, but I'm, 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 saying it anyways all the time, right? So we have felt, feel, found. So we have the confirmation, we have the story, and we have the solution. Whatever objection you get, let's say the objection is, it's a scam, right? Oh, bro, that's one of these scams. I don't have time to watch that. Oh, bro, I totally understand that. I thought the same. Right? I had the same feeling when I, when someone called me, right? And they tried to invite me, I had the same feeling. But what I did is, and then there comes the story. What I did is, right? I, I talked to some of the mentors. I took the time and I checked all the information, all the websites, right? I talked to a lawyer, whatever you did, right? And I, the result was solution, right? R result or solution. The result was the solution is that I found out that it's a pretty good business, but you have to put in work and actually, it's a, it's a public traded company, right? They are registered in America and you can find all of that information. So are you ready to join, right? It's very easy. It's just, it, most people, when they have, most people, when they have an objection, it's not that you never argue against it, right? If someone says it's a scam, don't say, oh no, it's not a scam, right? You know that. Let's, let's for example, say you have an argument with your girlfriend. Okay, or for the girls on this call, you have an argument with your boyfriend. So now your boyfriend starts. Oh, you never, you never bring out the trash, right? And now he says, and now she says, oh, and you never clean anything. And now he says, oh, and you never well, iron my stuff, right? And then he says, oh, you never wash my stuff, right? So now we are in an argument and it won't help anything. The argument never help, right? When someone says anything, the only thing they want is they want to be understood, right? So a better way would be to say, hey, if, if your girl never brings out the trash, right? And you want to tell her, you don't say, you never bring out the trash, bring out the trash, right? And now, now what you say, you don't go against it. You don't bring an other argument. You just say, hey, babe, I totally understand that, right? I also have the same feeling. Sometimes I ask my question, why, why you don't bring out the trash, right? So I just, I just feel if we, can, if we can find a solution here, right? If we can find a solution that, for example, you do this, I do this, then we, then we are good, right? So I totally understand you. I'm 100% with you. That's what people want to hear, right? People want to be understood. People want to be like, wow, okay, he, he really knows that, it, that I don't like that, right? He understands that and he's bringing a solution. That's it, right? No argument, never. Never, never, never. Don't bring arguments, right? When someone says it's scam, don't say, hey, we have a public traded company. How can a public traded company be a scam, right? That's more advanced. You don't say that. You say, hey, I totally understand it and you feel it's a scam like why should like let, let's be honest guys why why some why should someone not think that is a scam they have to think it's a scam 
Like sometimes, I'm, I'm honest with you guys, and don't tell, don't, don't tell no one, it's only for this call. Sometimes when someone joins directly after listening to the presentation, I'm like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you? Or not. Sometimes I feel like, bro, what's wrong with you? Why do you just join? I'm like, what the fuck? Like I was so skeptical. And that, that should, that's normal, right? It's normal that people are skeptical. It's normal that people are scared. It's normal that people say, oh my God, I don't, I have to think and I have to have a good reason why I'm spending $1,499 on a week pack, right? Some people earn that. In Portugal, it's two times the average of what people make in income. So people have to be skeptical, but now they are skeptical. And the only thing you know to do is to bring them arguments. They say it's a scam. You say, no, it's not a scam. And then they say, oh, uh, uh, is, it, is, it, is it like a pyramid scheme? And you say, no, it's not a pyramid scheme, right? It's not a pyramid scheme because of this and this and this. They don't want to hear that. They want to feel confirmed. They want to feel understood. They want the story, right? They want the solution. So if someone tells you whatever objection, argument, whatever, you say, I'm 100% with you. When someone says, hey, um, I don't feel that the automation will work, right? And then you say, I totally understand that. Like, how should you know that, right? I totally understand that. I'm 100% with you. Actually, when I started, when I wanted to start, I had the same I had the same feeling, right? I was very curious, but I also was very skeptical. I was scared that I invest so much money into it that it will blow my account, right? But what I found out, okay? Feel, felt, found. What I found out, okay? What I feel now, what I found out is that the automation in the past three years on the strategies that we are on, okay? Now you can bring the arguments, but first you want to be understood. Our automation last three years never went below 15% minus on one trade right? Uh, on one month, sorry. Never went below 15% in three years. So it doesn't guarantee anything. But imagine a strategy with market conditions in the past, which were very bad, right? Up, ups and down. Never lost, never had a greater loss than 15%. So that's why I joined, right? That's what people want to hear. Hopefully you guys understood it. And hopefully it helps you feel felt fun, right? I felt the same way. I confirm that's how I feel now, right? My story. And that's what I found the solution easy. That's what you bring all the time. So let's go back to this example. Let's do one example. I call a friend of mine. His name is Peter. I say, Peter, what's up? Uh, quick question. What are your plans on Thursday, 8 p.m.? He's like, no idea, bro. I don't, I don't have a plan. Like most people don't have a plan, right? So, and then I'm say, I say, okay, easy. Uh, just a quick thing. I, I, I'm, I'm involved in a project, right? Um, they have crazy results. I know that you are into cryptos, right? And I just want to, to I just want you to see the information. Right, it's 45 minutes. That's it. It's 45 minutes. It's a Zoom call. Join. It's a project. 8 p.m. And then he says, "Oh, I I don't have time for that." Right? Now I don't say, "Okay, and what are you doing?" I say, "I totally understand it, bro. We are all busy. We all have a lot to do. Right? I'm also very very busy. Actually, I have to call someone else right now, so I'm I'm very short of time. But you know, I when when someone told me about this business, I didn't have time to, but I made time, right? Because I felt it's such a great opportunity, and I rather miss okay i rather miss a couple of minutes with my boys outside or, or in my gym right or while the gym listening to it and i found out that this information changed my life so can you prioritize it story right let's say he says oh it's one of these scams right what do you say you don't say no it's not a scam you say oh bro i told bro don't tell me this bro i'm a hundred percent with you bro when i started this i thought i'm being scammed as fuck like let's be honest i thought that these guys are, are just kidding me right i was like how can someone be so stupid and all this obviously trying me to scam but do you know what happened very crazy I, I i found out that this is not a scam i found out actually that the company that offers the automation in crypto exists since 2012 i actually found out that the company investview is a public traded company are governed and ruled by the sec right they are they are they are regulated by the sec the largest institutional financial um highest whatever in america Right. So I, I did that. I, I checked it out. I found it out and I joined and I watched the information. So can you prioritize that and, and join? Right. That's that's what they want to hear, guys. You know, you don't have to make it as complicated. I'm doing right now in such a big story, but I'm giving you guys to understand what it means. Right. Let's say he says, um, oh, I already lost money in that in, in the past. And you say, oh, bro, I told 100 percent with you. I totally understand that. Right. So many people that want to join us, they are so scared because you can't imagine how many people lost a lot of money. But you know what I did? 
I talked to all of these people and I did a lot of research in the internet before I joined to find out what are the most important things that I need to know if I join a business, if it's a scam or not. And I found out that on the automation or in general, you never give someone money at iGenius, right? You don't give an iGenius, you don't give me the money, you don't give the company the money, it stays on your account. Now, now tell me, how can someone be scammed if you don't give them the money, right? Because scamming means you're giving someone your money. Bum. Easy. You know what I mean? It's always the same, guys. What, whatever, whatever objection you get, even if you don't have the answer for it, it's I totally understand it. I'm 100% with you, right? I felt, the way, I felt the same way. What I did, I found out, blah, 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 blah. This is the solution. Can you prioritize and join a Zoom call? Hopefully, you guys understood it by now. It's, it's pity that I can't see the chat. But I think you guys know now how to handle objections, right? Field felt found. One of the craziest formula. And when you are in a fight with your girlfriend or boyfriend, just use it and, 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 remind, and remember what I said, right? And I want you guys to message me if it helped. Okay, let's do it like that. If, if you end up in a fight with your girlfriend or boyfriend or with your family or whoever, right? Tell me if the field felt found formula helped you because it will, right? So number four is that. Then uh, number, uh, number three is that. So number four is to give them a short info about the Zoom, right? It's a Zoom. It's 45 to 50 minutes, right? It's, you don't have to open your camera. Comfort, you have to comfort the people, right? You have to say to them, hey, it's a Zoom call. It's 45 minutes, gonna send you a link. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to open your camera. You don't have to talk. No one will ask you anything. Just join, check the information and leave. That's it. And if you don't wanna talk about it any, after that anymore, I got you, bro. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Just check the info. This year, this is the funnel. This is the most important thing that we get to people to check the info, right? That's all we need to do. That's, that's our main job as network marketers is to give people information. It's not to close them. It's not to fuck them up. It's not to, 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 to uh, uh, ex like, um, how do you say it? Not explain them, but it's not to, um, it's not to force them, right? We are not forcing someone. We are not, um, there's one word that I'm missing. You guys know, maybe know what I mean, but I don't find it right now. But our job is to give information, right? Just information. And whatever they do with the information is on their side. I don't care, right? If they want more information, I'm going to give them more information. If they have objections, I'm going to help them with the objections. If they uh, feel it's a scam, I'm going to help them to understand it's not a scam, right? But I just give info. I don't close people. I just give them info. And if, if, they, if they understand, if they're intelligent enough, right? You on this call, all of you, you were intelligent enough to understand that this is a great opportunity. And I only want intelligent enough people in my team, right? I don't want people in my team that were forced to join because people that were forced to join are still of the same opinion, right? Someone convinced against their will is of the same opinion still, right? And convincing is what I was missing. Someone, right? Convinced against their will is of the same opinion still. Nothing. Like sometimes you see that, that people join and they quit after two, two days, three days, they do the refund. They click on the refund button faster than you can see it. That these are people that you force. These are people that you convince to join the business because you convince them for a couple of hours, a couple of days, but they still have the same opinion. So don't change the opinion, give them the information and hope that they are intelligent enough to understand it. Right? And maybe it's not what you guys heard or what you guys learned in books or in network marketing or in selling because selling is bullshit, right? Sales is bullshit. I don't like sales. There is another art of selling that's natural selling. We will talk about that in the next uh, nugget call next Wednesday, natural selling, right? That's the topic, natural selling. It's crazy because once I, once I stopped selling people the business, everyone wants to join because I don't sell, I inform, I educate, I inspire, right? I give them an opportunity and if they are not stupid, they will understand it. Right? And if they're intelligent enough, they will become successful in what I do. Because some people are intelligent enough to understand that. And you all, you were intelligent enough, right? That's all we need to understand. So we just give them the info. And that's it, right? That's it. Here, you say bye. Okay, bye, we see us. That's it, okay? And don't forget to follow up. That's the last thing on inviting, follow up, right? A couple of hours before the Zoom call, a day before the Zoom call, you just follow up. You just say, hey, brother, I just wanted to remind you today, 8 p.m. we have our Zoom call, right? That's it, guys. That's how you invite. And very, very important, most like very, very important is this one. That's the first thing you ask, right? You don't say, hey, I want to talk with you about a project. 
you don't say, hey, I have a crypto automation. You say, what are your plans at 8 p.m.? And if they say they already have anything like that, let's say, let's say they say uh, 8 p.m. Thursday, I'm already busy, right? What do you do? What do you do now? If you are smart, you just tell them, okay, easy. I call a couple of days again. Bye. Imagine what the person will think if you do that. Imagine I called you and I say, hey, brother, are you free 8 p.m. on Thursday? And you say, no. I'm like, okay, easy. I call a couple of days again. The question that you will have in your head is like, why? And what did he want to tell me? And what am I missing? Because I can't join at 8 p.m. Do you know what I mean? That's basic psychology. I just say, hey, okay, easy. I call you next couple of days and update you. And then you call them again, two days later, one day later. Say, hey, brother, what's about uh, Friday, 8 p.m.? Like you check another time, right? Or you do it with the presentation. That's another way, okay? Or you do like a three-on-three -three call, you do a two-on-two -two call, whatever, however you want to expose them, right? But understand to do it differently, right? Understand to be different than everyone else. Everyone else would say, when they say they don't have time, that, okay, uh, um, um, then uh, what, what about now, right? And no one, no one wants to join someone if they, don't, if they are not busy, right? We want to work with people that are busy, that are successful. When I launched my first business, Four, more than four years ago, I did, an, I did a Facebook Live, right? And this Facebook Live, guys, scroll down and watch it. It's in German, but see how I talk, right? See how, like, see, see the person that I was four or five years ago. It's crazy. I, I can't watch the video, guys. If I watch the video, I get mad at myself. It's crazy how, how personally I feel I evolved, right? But watch this because I did on this Facebook Live. And the only one who was watching the Facebook Live was my teacher, my religion teacher. He was the, she was the only one watching this video. No one cared. And what I said in this video is like, I have so many people asking me about the business. I said that I can't answer anymore. I said, we have to do an event. I said, we have to do online presentations. No one, literally no one was interested in my business. No one messaged me. No one wanted to know what I do. All the people said no. There was me on Facebook Live lying and saying, everyone wants to know about my business. Right? I, was, I was thinking in terms of it is already happening. I was telling people that I'm already successful. I was letting people know that I don't have time to answer any messages because people want to know what happens when it's rare. People want to know and want to be involved when it's about scarcity. People want FOMO, right? People want these kind of emotions. People want, bro, people want, like guys, sometimes I game, right? PlayStation 5. I have a PlayStation 4, uh, like very rarely that I game, but sometimes I do, right? Like Fortnite, some other bullshit, Call of Duty. Um, and bro, since one year, I'm trying to get, get the fucking PlayStation 5. I can't get nowhere. I can't get it. Do you know how much I want it now? And I don't know even if I would game. I just want it. I just want to have the fucking PlayStation 5 because basically I don't know where to get it. You know, that, that's how it works. Like all these big brands, right? Supreme, they have a drop of 200 pieces and that's it. Right? iPhones, they are sold out directly. Everyone wants to have them. Everyone wants to have them because they are sold out, because they are rare, because everyone, when you have a new iPhone, I have the new iPhone, for example, right? Everyone is like, whoa, whoa, can I touch it? Can I try it? Bro, it's a fucking iPhone. It's a phone, right? It looks like this other one, right? It just has a new color and a better camera. But everyone is like, oh, let me touch it. Let me see it. That is, this is the new iPhone, right? Because it's only people want to, want to have the feeling, right? So that's the same with the time. No one wants to join someone that has time. And I don't, I don't want to say fake it till you make it, right? Fake it till you make it is bullshit. But be a bit smart, right? Be a bit smart. You're not hurting no one if you say that. You don't hurt people by saying, hey, I don't have time because I have so many people asking, right? Mo most questions on Instagram, do you know the, the future with the questioning tool? I never did that, but I should do it. The questioning tool, right? Where people can type in questions. Most questions are done by the people themselves, no one asks that, right? Like these questions that they answer, no one asks that. They do it by themselves, right? And big networkers, multi-million dollar networkers, monthly income, they do it too. They, they just put, they ask themselves and they answer. Crazy, huh? That's how it works. So let's talk about the rest. We have like 10, 10 minutes left. And the rest and, and the most important thing now is after the, the inviting is the launch call. Right. The launch call, how will it happen? Launch call. Okay, the launch call, how will it happen? Zoom. And the launch call will only be for one person. One person, right? So I don't mean that only one person is on a Zoom call. The goal, the target is always to have in between 50 or 20 people. 
if you don't do 50 or 20 people, you are bad. And I tell the people, I tell people that the average is 50 to 20 people and everything that is below 50 people is not good. I just tell them, right? If you are in a job and you are in a sales job, your boss will tell you, you have to at least call 20 people a day. If you don't do it, you are bad. If you're bad, you'll get fired. That, that, that's business guys. It is what it is. In network marketing, it's like, oh, no problem, bro. If you, don't, if you, only, if you only do two, that's also good, right? We're going to have another lounge call. All good. No, pro no, that's bullshit, bro. Like we are not in a, in a, in a like, um, I, don't have the, I don't know the word in, 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 uh, in English, but we are not like in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a community where it's about, you know, like helping each other in terms of, uh, you know, like petting each other and, and, and saying everything is good and life is beautiful. No, it's a business. Right? We talk, you join because you want to make money. Now, my, my job, you can hate me, right? I, it doesn't matter. You guys can hate me, right? You guys can say, Miguel is an idiot. Miguel only thinks about money. Miguel always tells me what to do, right? But I will make you rich. If you do what I tell you, you will make money. It is what it is, right? So it, for me, it doesn't matter if you like me or not. If I make you money, right? You're happy and I'm happy. That's the business. Definitely, I want you guys to like me, right? Definitely, I want you guys to feel comfortable, right? I want all that, 100%. But it's not necessary, right? It's not necessary for me to make you successful. The only thing you have to do is listen to what I say. That's network marketing. So you have to have the same attitude towards your people. Because you always know more than the person that just started. It doesn't matter if you started yesterday. If you started yesterday and someone joins today, you have more information than them. And you have to give them this information. Or if you don't have the information, you don't know how to do it, then bring him to someone that can help you, right? If you join today and you have someone that's joining, you can't do a launch call, you don't know how to do a game plan, then get, get someone in front of you and the person that teaches you, right? Don't wait. Don't wait all the time. Don't wait until God comes down and tells you, oh, I do a launch call game plan with Miguel. No. Cynthia, for example, on this call, okay, she's like, a couple of points away of hitting diamond, uh, diamond, uh, diamond executive in Australia, right? She joined three months ago. She messaged me out of the nowhere. I have no idea who she is. And she said like, I don't know like the exact words anymore, but she said like, uh, can we have a call? I need help or I need guidance or whatever, right? I jumped on the call with her. I told her what to do. She worked her ass off. Still today works her ass off. It's 6 a.m. in Australia. She's, she's on the call. Why? Because she does what I tell her and she does it very, very good. And it's not because of me that she's successful. I'm just guiding. I'm just saying, do this, do this, do this. And if she does it, she gets more and faster successful than everyone else. Because if you don't listen to your mentor, you're going to make the same mistakes. I'm already telling her what to do by letting out the mistakes. I don't, I don't let her do the mistakes because I know what to do to let it out, to let, let, like, to let the mistakes out, right? So launch call is only with the person that invites about 50 to 20 people, right? Why only one person? Someone could say, hey, why don't we do like five people together so we have a bit of... No, you don't do it. You do it with one person. Why? Because if you only do it with one person, this person will have the pressure of inviting enough people. Because if it's a big presentation, you won't see that he only invited two people. Like people bullshit a lot in this business. They will tell you numbers that are not true, right? If there's a big presentation and everyone invites, I can't track how many people you had on the call. If I only do it with you, you and I, we see how many people are on the call because these are only your people. It's more work for you. I totally understand. Okay, I know it's more work. It's a lot of launch calls, but that's how the business works. Like 15 to 20 people, one person. Number one is the intro. Who does the intro? Always the person that invites, right? Because the person that invites knows all the other people. Everyone respects the person. Everyone trusts the person. Everyone knows the person, right? So now the intro right? The intro is done. How? Number one is the welcome. Okay. Welcome them. Say, hey, welcome to this presentation. Thank you for taking the time. Okay. We're going to make it short, 45 minutes, 50 minutes. Okay. Number two is why. Why did I join? What is my why? Why I'm doing this, right? Tell the people, hey, welcome. I joined this opportunity because I wanted to change in life. And you guys all know that I hated my last life, that I didn't make shit money, right? I was broke as fuck. And now I want to introduce you to someone. And that's the next, right? Welcome, why, and intro. Now you intro, you edify, you upline. And when we talk about edification, and you guys already know that, but I'm telling you again, right? Because it's a different, there's a, it's a difference of knowing or using it. It's a triangle of success, the triangle of edification. How to do the intro. Number one, respect. 
right? Respect. We need expertise. Expertise and we need trust. These are the three major keys to a business deal. If I don't respect you, I'm not doing business with you. If I don't see that you're an expert, I'm not uh, doing a business with you. If I don't trust you, I don't join your business, right? And I did that example uh, many times, but let's say, right? Let's say you are being operated soon, right? You are on the operation table and now there's a normal casual dude coming in, okay? Leans over you and says like, let's go. Now we're going to operate you. And the only thing that you're going to think is like, what the fuck? He doesn't look like a doctor. And the next thing you're going to ask yourself is like, I'm going to die, right? Because you don't see that he's an expert, right? And if you don't see he's an expert, then you don't respect and you don't trust because it's not what is normal to see someone walking in on an operation table and he's casually dressed. No, because someone that operates you looks like a fucking doctor, right? He's white, he has a coat, he has whatever, a hat, whatever, you know what I mean? And we are like that. So people can't smell. Okay, small example, if you do a bad introduction, let's say we have a launch call and your job is to do the intro and you say, hey, welcome everyone, that's Miguel, that's my mentor, and that's it. The people don't smell that I'm an expert. How do they smell that? They, they, don't, they don't know, they don't see, they don't smell. They can't touch, they don't, they don't know that I'm an expert, right? So if they don't know that I'm an expert, how they should respect me for what I give them and information and how should they trust in me if they don't know me? So that's your job on to edify. And I see very bad edifications and that's why your business is not running. If you're downline and you have to be very strict guys, right? You have to be very strict when it comes to the in intro or edification. If the people edify your bet, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how much money you make. You could be the fucking president if they don't know that you are the president, right? If I'm walking outside, right? Here in Dubai, for example, there are a lot of people that look like shikes. I, I wouldn't, I couldn't tell if some of them is like a prince or if some of them is like very important, right? How can I know? But I know when there are 20 bodyguards around him. I know, right, when there are a lot of people are looking at him. That's how we people recognize, okay? And how do people recognize on a Zoom call that this person is important? By the intro, right? For example, one intro, okay? We have four minutes left, one intro. Very quick example of an intro. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this presentation. Thank you so much to take uh, take taking time for that. Right? I joined this solution. I joined this opportunity a couple of months ago. You guys maybe know why I was working in this job. Okay. Uh, hi, hi to all to my colleagues. Okay. Um, I was working this job and I was not fulfilled. I was not happy. I was waking up every morning and thinking of you know like I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same shit again. Getting paid very bad. So I found this information, right? And I joined a couple of months ago and I want not, I'm not the person that's going to explain it to you because I want to edify someone. I want to introduce you to someone, right? I feel like he's the right person that has to show you this business, okay? This is Cynthia. Cynthia's from Australia. She joined a couple of months ago and she went from zero to nearly diamond executive, just like 500, 600 points in front of the diamond executive in a couple of months. That means a very good income, right? And I respect her so much for what she did because she's a leader she shows in a country where no one is building what is possible with this online business right she only uses her laptop and invests a lot of time she became an expert in these couple of months and already has team members and she tells them how to lead the team right and i trust her because i feel she's my mentor she's someone that gives me information that helps me if i have a problem she helps me so i trust respect her and she's an expert and i want to give it up to her okay virtual applause for Cynthia, she's going to show you the opportunity. Bro, they people are going to think we have Kylie Jenner of the Zoom call, right? They're like, whoa, who the fuck is Cynthia? Like, you know what I mean? That's a whole different thing. Now, how, how is it badly done? How is it poorly done? Hey, guys, I started this business a couple of months ago. My why is I want to make more money, right? And I want to introduce it to Cynthia. She's crazy. Um, she built the business since a couple of days, a couple of months, right? She made some money and she's going to explain you the business. You see the difference, right? You don't only see it, but you feel it. There's a very big difference. Okay, that, that's crazy. There's a very big difference. So I want you guys to learn the edification. Le learn it, right? I, I also didn't. I also didn't know how to edify. And, it, and, and if I don't know how to edify someone, I ask him. Okay, D asks. I ask them, right? I, I, I sometimes I have to edify people. I don't know what to say about them, right? Because I probably don't. I don't know them. So I just ask them. I say, hey, bro, how do I edify you? 
how do I edify you? And there's like three major things, right? And also very important is like, don't make it too long. Don't make it too long, right? Some people edify like 10 minutes. <laughs> That's a bit too much, okay? So at the end of the day, guys, put a one into the chat if you learned anything on the Zoom call today, just for me to understand that you guys learned anything. I know, as I, as I said, guys, I know that we talked about it yesterday on the, on the Portuguese call, and I know you guys already know this information, but I wanted to go a bit deeper into the edification, a bit deeper into the invita invitation, so you know how you guys know how to invite, you, go, you guys know how to handle objections, and you guys know how to edify properly, right? And for example, uh, to be honest, like the Portuguese leaders that I work now with, like Martim, Ivan, Rodrigo, they are very good edifiers. Right when I like they edify very very strongly, and it's a whole different thing if they if they do it right. So if, if since I since since I met them right, they always edify. They they do it and it's crazy good. So thumbs up for you guys. It's like crazy. The Portuguese team knows how to do it right, and that's very very good and that's very very important right. I'm not teaching you stuff that won't make you successful because the only thing I want is that TPR is the crown and TPR is successful. So this information can change everything. So le learn how to edify, learn how to launch people. And one thing, and that's the last thing I want to say is have more power in terms of how to handle people. And I know that some people may be shy. I know that some of you guys lack communication skills. I know that some of you guys maybe are scared to talk to people, but you have an opportunity here. Treat it like a real opportunity, right? Treat it like a real opportunity. Treat it like an opportunity and give people information, right? So at the end of the day, guys, um, take this information because information changes situation. And thank you for being part of the, another uh, very dope nugget call. It's always so lovely and nice to see you guys and to see your feedback in the chat. And uh, always give me some feedback if it helped you, right? If you, uh, if you are in an argument with your girlfriend or boyfriend, tell me if it helped, right? Be smart and use what I just, uh, just told you. Like I, I, ima I imagine like you guys tomorrow when you have an argument right with your boyfriend or girlfriend and then she starts and you're like, uh, what, what did Miguel say about wait, felt, feel, felt, felt, feel, felt, 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 feel, what, what am I going to do? What's the first, what's the first? And then you say, okay, babe, I totally 100% understand you, right? Okay, I, got, I, I already have the pictures in my head, guys. So good luck with that. Uh, we'll see us on the next call <laughs> and uh, use it always when you have an argument, guys, when you have object objections in your life, right? People just want to be understood. People want to feel like confirmed. So give them the confirmation and we see us on the next call, guys. Bye-bye. Stay blessed. TPR is the fucking crown. Let's go.